So let's just, um, if you could all just actually just move your head around to start. Move your head to the left and maybe twist and look over your shoulder and yeah, see what's over there and move the other way. See what you notice. Looking up and the ceiling, maybe lean back in your chair. And look down. Just sort of looking around your space. Say a, a fixed head, a fixed spine is a, is a fixed mind. So how is it that you can loosen up where you're looking and what you're seeing and how you're here right now? See if that sort of affects a certain loosening of thinking. Maybe experiment with a little bit, shaking your head around. And I invite you throughout this course as we sit here, you don't have to perform still head. You can move your head around. You can do what you need to do to take care of this corporeal animal, right? That needs a little more. And now let's just stand up wherever you are if you're comfortable standing up. If not, you can stay seated. And um, I'm just gonna move my camera if you'd like. And I just invite you to kind of shake your body a little bit, maybe starting with your legs. So sort of shaking and jiggling your legs. Shake your legs out. Get the blood moving into them. And then shake your booty, shake your hips. Do a little salsa dance. And shake your belly and your chest. shimmy. You can keep that looking around if you want. Keep seeing what's around you and shake out your, your arms, your shoulders, Oof. and your head. Wiggle your head around. Shake your brain. And then let's shake everything at once. Maybe for 10 seconds see if you can shake as much as possible. Nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then come into stillness wherever you are, just standing, sensing your feet on the ground, feeling the air around you. Feeling your heart your breath. And once again, just looking around, I want you to see some things in this space that you're in and just name them. Kind of like you're a baby seeing things for the first time. Just saying it out loud. Lamp. Door. Photograph. Fire. Books. Dog. Wallet. Postcards. Now I want you to name things. We're gonna just do a little like thing that kind of helps our brains get out of, again, a kind of stuck pattern. We're gonna look at things and name them what they're not. So I'm gonna look at my chair and say dinosaur. So you're gonna just kind of make up a series of lies about what's here, cotton candy, unicorn, super highway. Yeah, 
good and let that go. And I want you to come to just taking a moment to bring your gaze to your hands. I'm just taking a moment to observe your own hands. Bringing the entirety of your mind's eye into your hands. So not just the visual sense, but actually activating the felt sense of your hands. Just taking a moment to appreciate them. Feel the history in your hands. Perhaps noticing the work. The work that you've done. Feeling the family, memory. And noticing the connection between your hands and your heart. Between your hands and your brain. Feeling how your hands touch and grab tools all day long for communication. Feeling all the tools that your hands touch and how those tools change your brain. How the brain then moves the hands to touch the tools. All those you've touched, all those who have touched you. Just do one final kind of shake out or toss off, just appreciating that circulation of energy and communication, maybe freeing up your hands a little bit, the wrists, all that energy, all that texting, all that typing, all that cooking, all that caring. And just to close this practice, bringing the hands to a part of you that might need a little attention. You can just intuitively feel where that is. Maybe it's tense shoulders. Or feeling a sense of anxiety. Just sending presence through this touch to that part of you. And as you're, when you're ready, come back to the group. 